Hi, I'm Aaron Marcus, and welcome to today's challenge. Hey, I, I've been talking with you guys uh, a bit about some really important auditioning secrets that will completely transform the way you prepare and give your audition. And here we are. I'm ready to share it with you now. So there are two things that, that, that I want to uh, talk with you about. One of them is there's uh, there's a really important question that you need to ask every casting director whenever you go to an audition for a film. And here's the question. Typically, when we are auditioning for a film, you know, if you're not that well known and people aren't writing scripts for you, you are given the sides to a movie. And once again, that's the short portion of the uh, of the script that you're going to be reading for the audition. So typically we really don't know a whole lot about what's going on in the movie, who the different characters are. You know, unlike a TV show where you can watch the show and you know who all the major characters are. So when you walk into the audition, if you are reading uh, lines with and let's say the other character is Jane, one of the questions that you absolutely have to ask the casting director is what is my relationship to Jane because that will completely change the way that you do your read you know if Jane is your mother you'll read it one way if Jane is your wife hopefully you're gonna read it another way if Jane is your ex-wife you're gonna be definitely reading that one a different way if Jane is you know this this woman that you have always wanted to ask out but you were afraid to that's going to completely change it. So you, you get the idea. That is a crucial question that you should always ask a casting director whenever you're auditioning for a film if you don't know what your relationship is with the character that you are reading with. So that's one really important thing that I wish I had known about when I first started uh, in the industry. Here's the other thing. It's called the five W's. And I use this technique whether I'm auditioning for a TV commercial, a television show, a feature film, an independent film. It doesn't make any difference. It's who, what, where, when, why. You've got to answer all of those W's very specifically. Like a lot of times when I'm doing private coaching sessions with people um, and let's say they're working on a monologue. And I will ask them, so who are you talking to? And quite often their initial response will be, well, I'm talking to people, I'm talking to friends, I'm talking to myself. No, no, you have got to figure out a very specific person who you are talking to. Even in a monologue, you're not just talking to yourself, you're talking to somebody. You've got to have somebody in mind because it will make the read so much more interesting. So that's the who, that's the first W. What? What are you talking about? And once again, if this is a, uh, a, a commercial, then it's probably, it might be a product. You have to know what the product is. So who, what, where? Where is this conversation taking place? The reason why this is so important is because you want to create the scene during your audition. If you are having this conversation, in your bedroom with somebody, it's going to sound very different than if you're walking down, you know, Fifth Avenue in New York City, where there's going to be a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, and it's going to change the way that you talk. So it's who, what, where, when. What time is this scene taking place? You know, is it happen happening at three o'clock in the morning? Is it happening at eleven o'clock in the morning? Once again. You're, you're going to be sounding very, very different. And why? Why are you saying these things? What's, what's the point? So when you sit down and work on answering the five W's, it will make your audition so much more interesting, so much more believable. And, and that's the kind of thing that will grab the attention of people who are watching your audition. So here is your challenge today. I want you to, you can go to the link below, click on it. It's a, it's a great site. You can find some monologues there. Or if you already have monologues, um, you know, or a different copy, you can use this as well. But in case you don't, this is a good website to go to. And I want you to choose 
three different monologues. And with uh, a pen, or if you want to do it on your computer, it doesn't make any difference. I want you to sit down and answer all five W's with all of the monologues that you're going to be working on and answer them very specifically. So you can try if you want. Read it first without answering any of the W's and then read it again after you've answered all the W's. And what would be really cool is why don't you go to my facebook.com forward slash how to model page and if you want to do a before and after uh, you've done the five W's up on the website. That would be really cool. Uh, love to see it. And that way you can share it with other people as well. So anyhow, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, I'm Aaron Marcus, and I can't wait to talk with you again tomorrow.